friends, it's your certified health coach, Caroline Jordan, here with another health coach, Elizabeth Torres, at Spin Love Play in Kona, Hawaii. And we are so excited because we're about to take you through a cardio Pilates workout. Yes, that's right. You might love cardio and you might love Pilates, but have you ever thought to bring them together. Are you ready for this list? I'm ready. <laughs> She's ready for this. So all you need for this workout is your body, a little bit of space, and we will be using light hand weights. If you don't have light hand weights, do not sweat it. You can absolutely use water bottles or just use light hand weights next time you use the routine and it'll make it a little bit of a spicier workout. So to get started, we're just gonna march in place. Feel free to put on any tunes that you want to in the background. This is filmed with no music because you know what? Everybody has different musical preferences. You might like 80s, I might like hip hop, but we can all play together and still get a great workout. Everything we're doing today, Liz, is low impact. That means easy on the joints, something you can do daily and have a good time. So on this march, I just want you to pick up your heart rate and breathe, Ooh. inhale, and exhale, nice job. Keep pumping those arms and know that everything we do today is going to work your whole body, your heart, your muscles, we got it all. So next up, we're gonna go for a low impact jumping jack. So when you're ready, you're just gonna reach one leg out and arms go overhead. That's it, good job. So Liz and I have been having the best time here in Hawaii. And when Spin Love Play asked us if we wanted to do a little workout, we said, yeah. yeah. So if you are visiting in Kona, Hawaii, or if you have plans to visit, you gotta come check out the studio. You can do all of their fun workouts, including indoor cycling and HIIT training. Okay, so can we go a little bit faster, Liz? What do you say? Sure. Yeah, okay. Already got a good sweat Whew. on the day. I know. <laughs> We're breathing. We're moving. So in cardio Pilates, we've got intervals of cardio, and we've got intervals of Pilates. That's right, all right, keep it going. Good, Liz, nice job. Whew. Want you to feel that your heart rate's coming up. Excellent. And My next we're gonna- burning. Your gut's good, all right. <laughs> next we're gonna go for knee pulls. So arms reach up, bring one knee in and switch. So you're giving me a crunch. Reach those arms real big for me, Liz. That's it, nice job. Standing abs. Good. Smiling is very advanced, as we say on this channel. <laughs> all right. Arms go all the way up over your head. I want you to think about one intention for your workout today, whether that's just taking some time for yourself or <laughs> working on your cardiovascular <laughs> fitness or maybe building muscle balance so you can play with your children or do the other sports and activities you love in life. Claim that one intention and hold it close to your heart. And as we move today, when things get hard, keep thinking about, okay, why am I here? I'm here to improve my health. I'm here to take care of myself. I'm here to be a more positive person to those around me. Because exercise makes you happy. Makes the world go round. And happy people are nice to be around. Bring happier people. Amen. <laughs> All right, now bring your hands up. We're gonna go for a little bit of a cross body punch and twist. So you're gonna twist and really ring out that core. Drive through your hips, squeeze your glutes. How are you feeling? Now, if your heart rate's up, here's what I want you to do. I want you to comment below and let me know if you feel your BPMs rising. Good job, Liz. Make it a little more bouncy, a little long. That's it. Now, Liz has never taken cardio Pilates. Is that right, Liz? That's right. So how's it going so far? It's good. It's My good. arms are sore. All right, we haven't even gotten to the fun stuff yet. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's a spin class earlier. Oh, for sure. So in this studio, they offer spin, they offer strength, they offer all sorts of things. So you can really mix it up because variety is the spice of life. And in order to beat plateaus and reach your weight loss or fitness goals, you really have to have a variety in your workout routine. You don't want to get stagnant and do the same things over and over because you know what? Bodies get used to it. Body gets used to it. And you want your body to always be challenged to adapt and change. Good job. Next, let's go for a speed skate. So you're going to cross behind 
and cross behind. I know, you got it Liz. A little low, let those arms swing. Just think loose, let your body move. And remember, you cannot do this wrong. There's no such thing as messing up moving. You can't move wrong. <laughs> I can't get your rhythm though. It's okay, so even if you feel a little uncoordinated when you're doing this workout, don't sweat it. You're moving your body, you're taking time out of your day to practice health and fitness, you're doing great. <clears throat> You are doing great, nice job. Keep it going. Heart rate, is it up? Yeah, all right. Yeah, if you're wearing a smartwatch or a fitness tracker, you can always use that device to kind of measure your heart rate as we move through these intervals. Whoo, we're doing good today. All right, okay, and let's march it out. Nice job. So that was a cardio block of work. Now we're gonna move into strength block of work. I want you to grab your light dumbbells. So today, threes, twos, we've got light guys here. Choose one that you feel you could complete. We're gonna go for a squat to chest expansion. So feet are about hip distance apart. Face your palms backwards. Now drop your hips down. You're going to come right back up and press the arms straight back. Okay, like that. Good, do it again. Squat down and press. Now the chest expansion helps open up the chest, engage the lats, and it should just feel really nice on those shoulders, huh? Now the squat, we're working our legs. You've got quads, glutes. You also have a little bit of core because as you drop it like a squat, you should feel your abs engage to support your body. Good job. Heart rate is still up, because remember, this is cardio Pilates. So it's a little bit more on the endurance side of sculpting exercise. You're not necessarily gonna build muscle mass doing this type of workout. It's more of a cardio workout with weights, quite honestly. But you cardio will- Cardio is more cardio today. More cardio. You will have some lean defined muscles from anything you do. So, how are you doing, Liz? Good. Good. Keep that going. Squat, drop it, press it back. Nice job. Make sure you breathe. Because I do have my CPR cert, but right now I'm in Kona, Hawaii, so I can't come to your house and offer it. <laughs> Good job. Keep that press going. You got it. Maybe one or two more. Yes. Nice job. Okay, we're gonna face each other, Liz and I, and now we're going for a backwards lunge to bicep curl. So you're gonna step back, curl the weights up. Good, step up and alternate. So you curl as you drop, you extend as you oh, lower. Okay. And you wanna stand up all the way. Good, and breathe. Now Liz is a mom and her daughter is amazing. And Liz makes sure she takes care of herself so she can be an awesome mom. Yeah. And one of her goals as a coach is to help other moms do the same. Because, you know, it's hard Absolutely. when you have kids. Absolutely. Right? So keep breathing. Drop that lunge low. Again, if the weights are ever too much and you're like, man, this is a lot of coordination. I don't know if what's going on. You can always just do the lunge, right? This is a great option. I'm going to show some modifications here. Or you can just do the bicep curl. Keep moving, Liz, you got it. Okay. Do whatever works for you. I'm here to support you in your goals. Now I'm here listening to Liz, and I can hear this cardio Pilates. Her, <laughs> her heart rate is up, this is great. It's harder than it looks. It really is, as with most things in life. Yeah. <laughs> Good, keep that lunge. Oops. You're doing awesome. Breathe. We're breathing, <laughs> we're sweating. Have One fun. more, each side. Good job. Now let's bring those weights to our shoulders. We're going for an alternating knee and overhead press. So you're going right arm up, left knee up. Right arm up. Opposite. And then switch. <laughs> Good. Overhead and up. You got it. So working glutes, working abs, working shoulders. And like I just mentioned, if any one of the pieces of the puzzle comes too much, for your body or your mind, just do one. Being here is such an accomplishment. Breathe. 
Good, Liz. Aren't you glad these are three pound weights? Yes. Ah! At first I felt silly only grabbing three pounds, but you're holding on to them for a while. So. For a while. Pretty soon you're gonna be so excited when we drop them and do some cardio. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Stand up a little taller, engage your abs. That's it. You're looking great. So proud of you. <laughs> Good work. Press it up and switch and switch. Yes. My shoulders are burning. This is hard. You got it. Good thing I ate that sushi roll at 930 in the morning. We have, <laughs> we have fueled our bodies to do this. Okay. Now elbows in. Okay. You're going to drop it like a chair pose squat. So feet together, knees together, sit down. When you tap back, your arms reach back. You bring it together. You switch back, bring it together. Keep your elbows back. So you're engaging your triceps lats. Your spine is long. So spine is long. Abs are tight. Shoulders are down away from those ears. Stay low in that squat. Feel everything work. Good. And we're working our triceps. How you doing, Liz? Good. Back Good. straight, kind of, like almost like we're skiing. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. You want to keep your elbows behind your body so you can really feel the backs of your arms. Many of my clients, they always want to define their triceps because they want to show off their arms when they're at a dinner party carrying a serving tra tray or they want to go to the beach and look sexy in their tank top. So, you know, we're toning up those triceps today. Woo! Good job. And relax. From here, elbows are going to come in towards the sides of our waist. We've got this 90 degree angle. You're going to tap one leg out, bring it in. Tap the other leg out, bring it in. And uh, uh, Liz, keep your arms right here. Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. So externally rotating the shoulder. And you just, if the legs again become too much, just the arms. Whew. I feel like this might be very effective, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Keep say those so. elbows in by your sides and breathe. Are we supposed to dip? I feel like dipping. You can. You can do whatever makes you feel best. I am not dipping, but Liz is dipping, and look, we both, <laughs> we both look great. How are you doing? That's what we're asking today, because we're all here as a community supporting each other in moving and living our best lives. And I think that's what people need the most is not what to do, but people to do it with. Because Absolutely. when you have a community of people that are supporting you and being healthy, that are supporting you and moving your body and eating good foods and getting to bed on time, mm -hmm. that makes it a lot easier, huh? Yeah. Much more motivating. Absolutely. Now we're going to drop it like a plie squat. So toes out, heels in, palms face the inside of your thighs. We're dropping down into a squat. When you come right back up, you're going to row the elbows like a smile. Good. Do it again. Down and up. When you come up, squeeze your butt. Yes. Good. Squeeze. Great for the outer and inner thighs, glutes, adductors. That's also a fancy word for inner thighs. Adductors. Excellent. And now we're also working our shoulders with this upright row. You got it. How you doing? Good. All right. Give me a big smile with those arms. Woo. I got to let out sound effects always really helps. So we have not stopped once, huh? Uh, -uh. Mm -mm. feel free to take breaks when you need to. Okay. No pressure. You can pause us. You can't. That is the beauty of the video. You can press pause anytime you need to. All right. One or two more and relax. Nice job. Just march it out. Take a moment, catch your breath. We're going to place the weights on the floor. Go for a few more cardio moves. We will return to our weights in a little bit. We're going to do all of our standing exercises first before we transition to the mat. So we're marching it out. You're breathing. I want you to notice what you feel probably heart and lungs, probably muscles. These are great things. You're alive. You're using your body right on. So keep that March going. 
How are we doing, Liz? Sweaty. Sweaty. <laughs> so what's your top tip for someone who's a parent out there trying to make time for their movement? This will give you more energy. Mm -hmm. You think it's the last thing that you can do is work out because you're already so exhausted and all you can think about is putting your head on the pillow and if you could just take a 30 minute nap, it'd be so wonderful. But if you just work out, it's amazing within a few weeks that nap is not even going to be nearly as important even if you are only getting five, six hours a night, you're going to feel your energy is going to go through the roof and that's what you just have to remind yourself. Sounds opposite of what you want but working out versus napping but it'll pay off, promise. Yeah, so just get started. We're going to go back to that jumping jack. So you're going to take one leg out, arms go overhead. You are in a little bit of a squat. Good, reach those arms. She's right though. And you know, sometimes <laughs> just get started. 10 minutes is better than zero minutes. Absolutely. Which is why on my channel, I have so many short workouts. You can do a 10 minute workout. You could do a five minute workout. Five minutes is better than zero minutes. So take yourself off the hook that thinking it needs to be a 60 minute workout to be effective. It doesn't just move, move for five minutes, three times a day then make it 10 minutes three times a day. And that adds up, that's 30 minutes a day. That's great. Keep breathing, how we doing? Great. Woo, all right. <laughs> Reach the arms. Oh man, I love me some cardio Pilates. <laughs> it's so good. Can you imagine how amazing we would be if we had music on in the background? Like I know. All of our listeners. All of our listeners, have. I hope you have some music on right now. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do our knee pull. So arms up. Knee pull in, give me a big crunch, big reach with those arms. Good, notice that your shoulders are working, things are firing, Whew. squeeze and breathe. Big arms, Liz, raise the roof big. up. Big? Yeah, All right. the bigger range of motion, the better. You don't want a limited like range of wider motion. wider or down more? All of it. Okay. All of it, full range, squeeze your glutes. That's it, good job. Woo. Oh, I love it. All right, boxing gloves on. We've got punch across. So you know these moves now. I want you to work them. First time we were just learning, now we're practicing. Yeah, good. Reach and cross. Excellent. Give me a big squeeze of your tummy muscles. This is great for your arms, for your abs. Rotation is wonderful for the body. And man, this is a much harder workout than I had intentionally planned it, but you know what? We're up for the challenge because we can do hard things. Absolutely. So always put yourself in a position where you're challenged in a good way because you'll be surprised at your own strength. Nice job. We're sweating, we're glistening, we're sparkling. All good. Nice job, Liz. We get to go on the mat next, and I'm super stoked because we have a series of mat-based Pilates strength movements with our light weights. So we're adding in these cardio intervals, and march it out. All right, if you wanna check your heart rate either on your smartwatch or on your pulse, please take the time to do so now. We are going to meet each other on the mat with our light weights for some floor-based work. Are you ready? Are you ready? Heck yeah. We're ready. All right. Get some water, grab your weights, and meet us on the mat. You did amazing with that standing sequence, and I hope you're excited for our mat-based work. We've got our dumbbells, we still have our shoes on, and we're gonna start in a tabletop position. So grab your weights, have them underneath you, and Can you're gonna use you? them as fists for wrists. Light weights are perfect. So all we're gonna do now is we're gonna go into some cat cows. So here you're gonna round your back, pull your abs in, make the biggest C shape you can. And then when you're ready, you're gonna, from your tailbone, tilt your tailbone up, drop your belly, and move into some extension. So we're just starting with a few mobilization exercises for the spine. But believe it or not, cat exercise is an amazing core work because you're really pulling in your low abs to round your back. And Liz did just take one of the spin love play cycling classes before this. So I thought, you know, she probably needs a little cat cow. 
to get that back moving after biking. How are you doing, Miss Liz? Good. Good. Now, find a neutral spine. So you're going to pull your abs in. Your right elbow is going to come back, and your left leg is going to extend out. So you're in this bird dog-like position. So opposite arm to leg, right arm back, other one. Good. Now from here, you're going to extend back, and then you're going to bring the knee and the elbow in. So we stay out. So you go press back in, bring it in. So opposite, opposite leg, Miss Liz. <laughs> you got it. So let's do this together. So we're going to bring the right arm up. Yeah. You got it. Now left leg back. Oh. Good. Now extend your right arm. Good. Now bring everything in. Good. Now uh -oh, do it again. Okay. Extend. Good. And bent. So we're doing a variation on the bird dog. This is an amazing core, core exercise, but we're also adding in a triceps and lats. So if you keep your shoulders down away from your ears and your abs engaged, you should feel everything, literally everything. Now it is a little coordinated. So to be fair, I threw Liz into this. She didn't know what to expect. It is a mind exercise for sure. But how you doing? Good. Good. So keep that elbow behind you. Let's try one more. Excellent. We're going to switch sides. So remember, it's opposite arm to leg. So if it's my left arm, my right leg extends back. I'm going to press them both back together and then bring them both in together. So we press and reach, bring it in. Press and reach, bring it in. Make sure you're just taking that leg to parallel so you feel your glutes and hamstrings. You're keeping that nice neutral spine. And if it's too much, hold the leg out and just do the arm. If it's too much to do all the coordination, opposite leg, love. I know. I don't know what my problem is. It's okay. It's Hi, okay. camera. It's, uh, it's all good. Opposite arm. So Some of us don't have coordination. It's okay. It's, it is a hard mind exercise. So, you know, work with where you are. <laughs> work with where you are today. Let's do one more. Okay. You got it. Nice job. We're going to transition to our back. Um, so when you're ready, you're going to lay down on your back with your arms up, ready for a chest press. So from here, we're going to lift our hips up, reach our arms up towards the sky, and then lower down our hips and bring our arms down. So they go together. So we're pressing up and press, down and tap. Up and press, down and tap. So think about a chest press with a hip bridge. Good. How you doing, Liz? Great. All right. Much easier. Oh, good. <laughs> now, cross crawl exercises, dead bugs and bird dogs, they are hard on your brain, but they're really good for brain health. So the more you practice things that involve coordination, actually, it really strengthens your brain, which is why we always do exercises that involve coordination for active aging, because as you age, you want to keep your brain health with your physical health. Do you want your butt tapping the... Yes. So you should feel your glutes, your hamstrings. You should feel your upper body, your chest, your triceps, and your shoulders. We are working it all here, and we're breathing. Woo! How are we doing, Liz? Great. All right. Good job, my friend. So, one to two more. Give me a good glute squeeze at the top and relax. All right, we're going to bring our legs to tabletop and our arms together. Now, you're going to keep your legs, uh, your weights face each other, Miss Liz. Oh, there you go. Okay. You're going to keep your legs in tabletop. Your straight arms go over your head. Your straight arms come back over your chest. So arms go back and arms come up. This works your lats and your abs. Now I'm going to have Liz keep working on this exercise. If you want to advance it, you're feeling like, I want to test my coordination today, Miss Caroline. You're just going to take one leg straight out and it back in. So if you want to take that coordination challenge, you can add the leg straight out and in, or you can keep your knees in tabletop. There is no wrong way to do this. You cannot exercise bad. <laughs> you just move your body and see what works for you with where you are today. How are we doing, Liz? Great. Are your arms straight? Is this good? <laughs> She's like, they are now. Yeah, that looks great. I love it. How's my knees? Are they supposed to be bent more like that? Either way. Okay. You should feel your core, though, with that, them in that position. 
Let's do one or two more. Oh my gosh, it's a lot harder than it looks. Okay, relax. Put your feet flat on the floor. Bring your arms about shoulder distance apart. This exercise is called the skull crusher because you know, you're trying to crush a skull, but please don't. So you're going to bend your elbows and then extend your elbows. The weights come right by your skull and then up towards the ceiling. Keep breathing. How are we doing, Liz? Good. I'm Good. Just trying to figure Let your head rest on the ground. And again, this is another exercise for the triceps. <sighs> Lots of upper body strength exercises here. Oh my gosh, I just love it. Squeeze, breathe, and believe. <laughs> and re. Relax. Okay, weights are going on your hip bones. They can go up or they can go flat. Just work with where you, what kind of weights you have. We're just gonna go for some hip bridges. So tuck your tailbone, squeeze your low abs, come up, squeeze your butt hard, and then lower it down. So we're up and squeeze and lower. Now, if it's too much with the weights and you're like, mm, I think I just wanna do body weight, take the weights down and just do your hip bridges with your arms right by your sides. You should feel your glutes, your hamstrings, maybe even your low abs. How's it feel, Liz? I feel a pressure in my top of my thighs. Oh, because of the weights. I guess, yeah. Yeah, well, if you take them out, see how it feels. You can always remove the added resistance. It's just extra credit, remember? Good. All right, give me a few more. Oh my goodness, I feel my butt and relax. All right, let the weights rest on the ground. Take your hands by your sides. Bring your legs to tabletop. Let your feet hang by your bottom. Now I want your feet to stay by your bottom the whole time. So no kicking, swinging, or momentum. You're gonna keep your legs in this position. Bring your butt off the ground and back down into what we call a reverse curl. Working the lower abdominals here. So lots of low abs. Are your heels by your butt? I hope that's a yes. <laughs> so, Liz, how your core, how's your core doing? I think it's good. All right. It's getting a little workout. Yes. Good. We forget sometimes the work the cores. Well, that's so important. Compared to some of the others. Yeah, because the core is the center of everything. It is. One or two more. And relax. We're going to move into some bicycles. So legs to tabletop, hands behind the head. Curl your head, neck, and shoulders up, and we're just going to bring opposite shoulder to knee. There you go, and then switch. <laughs> Good, roll those shoulders on the mat. Press your head into your hands to relax your neck. And just try to feel that excellent rotation and your obliques firing to support you. Good job. Reach that leg nice and big, Miss Liz. Good, <laughs> whoo. All right, I love a good bicycle crunch. Woohoo! You can't go wrong with a bicycle. Wow. Oh, yes. Good. Four more. Get those shoulders a little higher. Yes, there you go. And last one. You nailed it. All right, from here, find a way to come up to a seated position. We're going to roll onto our bellies. So when you work your core, you always want to work flexion extension, and your side body, lateral. So we just did flexion, now we're going to do extension. So you're gonna lay down on the mat, bring your hands on the floor, tuck your tailbone into the ground and pull your abs in and up. From here, all I want you to do is lift up. I'm trying to get my head to go towards Liz. So my chest comes off the floor, I'm extending my spine, and then I come right back down. So the first few reps, you might not get much range of motion. But work on it and see if you can really use your whole body to extend off the ground. Are your feet touching the whole time? Feet are touching, knees are off. Okay. Okay. So try not to just lift your head up, lift your heart up. Get your sternum off the mat. So up and hopefully you're not looking at the camera or at Liz isn't looking at me. We're looking straight <laughs> down. Guilty. It's all good. Let's do one or two more. And then stay up there. Press your hips down. Reach your arms long. Breathe. 
and relax. Since we're in a great position, we're gonna go for some push-ups. Hands by your chest, knees on the mat. Modified push-ups today. So shoulders down and back, you're gonna press up all the way. You're gonna lower chest all the way. So reset every time, hitting your chest to the mat and pressing up. Now, many people don't realize push-ups are a core exercise. Feel your abs? Mm-hmm. Yeah, good. Try not to arch your back too much. So I don't want you to stick your butt in the air. Is uh, mine in the air? Yes. Liz is doing, hey. <laughs> so what we're going to do, we're going to reset. We're going to come to a modified okay. plank. Bring your shoulders. I don't think I've ever done a girl push-up before. Oh, we'll do a real push-up oh, then. Okay. Yeah, take I me to church. I shouldn't say girl push-up. Modified push-up. Modified push-up. <laughs> so you want to do a real push-up. Hips in line with... There you go. And we're going to lower all the way down chest to the floor and then all the way up. So chest to mat. All the way down. All the way up. Good. How's it going? Good. All right. That's it. One or two more. Down and up. Last one. Down and up. Good. We're going to lay on our side. So we're going to do some side body work. Lay all the way down. You're gonna let your head rest in your bicep like it's a pillow. Your knees are together, your feet are together, moving into a clamshell. So keeping the knees together, open up, squeeze the glutes, and lower back down. So you can't have cardio Pilates without some clamshells. It's true, Pilates loves their sideline leg work. So yeah, good. How's that clam going, Miss Liz? It feels too easy. Uh-oh, well know. shoot. Compared to those push-ups, I guess. Yeah, that's not a bad thing. It doesn't need to be hard to work. We got to get past the idea that every workout needs to be so Killer. hard to be yes. effective. That's not true. Actually, sometimes really good programming almost feels like too good to be true. If you've got good programming, you're like, okay, I feel my muscles, but I'm not exhausted or so sore I can't do anything else. That's probably... My IT band, that's where I feel this. Is that normal? You should feel your glutes. Right here. I feel it right here. Yeah, that's normal. Okay. That is normal. So glutes and piriformis. Okay, last one and relax. Moving into a side plank. So I'm gonna do a modified side plank and Liz is gonna stagger her feet and come up into a real one. So modified would be knees together, feet together, forearm on the mat. Side plank, real one is just feet either stacked or feet staggered. You choose your preference. So either way, let's go. Bring it up, reach that top arm up. Pull your waist away from the mat. We're working our side body here. Good. How's that going? It's good. Good. Just breathe. Isometrics are always a good time. We are holding. Oh, I hope you enjoy this workout as much as I've been enjoying hanging out with Miss Liz and being here in Kona, Hawaii. Good. Lift, lift, lift. Keep that waist away from the floor. Breathe. Stay with me. And relax. All right, let's flip it around. We're going to do the same two exercises on the second side. Because lucky for you, you have two sides to do. So... Knees together, feet together, bicep is your pillow. You're gonna lift and lower that top leg for your clamshell. Make sure this is your second side. You'll know it right away. You'll be like, oh, <laughs> I think this side is really tired. That means you're on the same side. You should switch. <laughs> Good, really open and close. Oh, I love this workout. I think this is going to be one of my all-time favorites. And you can always bookmark it. Get more in when you need it. Woo! <laughs> the glutes, man, the glutes. This is all glutes. Glutes, glute mead. Sometimes you have to do the unflattering positions to get oh, flattering. It is true. It is so <laughs> true. <laughs> Awesome. Few more. We're going to finish up on the second side. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. This is, this side is not as strong as the other side and relax. That usually happens. Side plank, modify or stack, stagger your choice. Form is on the mat. Pull your waist away from the floor and let's lift up and hold. Good. Liz is being such a trooper taking the advanced version. Now, you want to make sure you're not sinking into that bottom shoulder, so pull up and away from the mat. You're doing great. I'm so proud of you. I am so proud of you. Sometimes I sing when it's hard because you know what? It makes the heart a little bit easier. It's true. Good. Lift, lift, lift. 
Only a few more seconds, and yes, I'm watching the clock. <laughs> My feet are moving. It's all good. <laughs> oh, relax. All right, we're done because it's time. We're going to do a little bit of rotation next. So either one weight or no weights, your choice. We're leaning back on our sits bones, shoulders are down and back. We're moving into a Russian twist. So you're going to move that weight to your hip pocket and switch. You want to think right to left. Now keep the weight and your chest in line. So you're trying to rotate your waist, not just the weight. Really feeling the obliques. Are you feeling that, Liz? Mm-hmm. Good. And you're breathing. Oh, this is so nice to be here with a friend working out. And in fact, if you're not with a friend at home, invite them to do the video with you on FaceTime. That's awesome. I'm all uh, for that. <laughs> Good. And relax. Nice job. We're going to lower down. We're going into a hollow body hold. Now, I'm not sure if Liz has done a hollow body hold, so I'm just mm. going to take her through it. We're going to bring our legs to tabletop and our arms are up. Now, you can always do this with no weight. You're going to curl your head, neck, and shoulders up, squeeze your knees together. You can stay here or extend the legs out straight. Always, if you want it a little harder, you lower your legs towards the floor, but you have to keep your lumbar spine, that's your low back, on the mat. Good. Liz, how's it going? Good. You breathing? A little shaky. Good. It's a good sign. All right. Hold. Oh, hollow body holds. Never a bad time. My abs, man. <laughs> Without the weight, looks like this. Lots of ways. We're just making it spicy. Yes, and relax. We can't leave this workout without a plank. So meet me on your front. We're going into a forearm plank. My all-time favorite core exercise. Forearms on the mat. You're going to walk your legs back and find a nice, strong plank position. Now, in your plank, you want your shoulders in line with your hips. Pull your abs in and up and keep everything strong. So Liz, make sure, um, so plank. So you bring your forearms down. Oh, your elbows. But yeah, not you in the air again? No, not in the air. And you're just gonna squeeze your bottom really hard okay. and just try to breathe. Okay. That's it, good job. Neck is long, you're pushing into the mat. As much as you wanna look at your instructor, try to keep everything in a straight line. So it's not a mountain, it's not a valley, it's a plank. And your knees touching? Knees are up, flexed quads. Yeah, good, push yourself a little bit higher. That's it, good job. Keep breathing. You got it. How are we doing? Good. Good. Abs up, hips up, there it is. Nice job. We're just gonna stay here for the next couple minutes. Are you okay with that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, relax. Set yourself into a child's pose. So feet together, knees apart. Reach your hips back and let your forehead fall to the mat. From here, stretch through your entire back body, breathing deeply. Mm. Inhale. And exhale. Keep yourself in a child's pose. Just walk both of your hands over to the left so you're in a twisted child's pose. Feel how when you take your arms to one side, it stretches through that hip and back. Try to breathe deeply. So inhale completely and exhale completely. Good. Come back through center and try the other side. So take your arms over into a rotated child's pose. Notice any differences you might feel on the second side of the body. Breathe in. And breathe out. Come back to center and take a moment in this child's pose to remember your intention that you created at the beginning of the class. Whether it was taking time for yourself, showing up for your health, or just being a more positive person through the powers of exercise and movement. Remember that intention and be proud of yourself for taking the time to be here in this moment. Return to your tabletop position. So hands underneath, shoulders, knees under hips. And we're just going to for a cat stretch. So you're gonna pull your low abs in tuck your tailbone, and then I want you to create the biggest C shape you possibly can 
feeling that stretch through your entire back. Push the floor away. Squeeze your low abs. And then return to neutral. Try that one more time. So abs in, tuck and round, push down, pull up. Good, and return to neutral position. From here, we're laying down on the floor. We're going into a scorpion stretch. So I'm, I'm gonna see if Liz wants to watch this one first, because it can get a little coordinated, it's a little twisty. <laughs> so I'm gonna take this arm out to about, if this is 12 o'clock, and this is three o'clock, I'm gonna go to one, one or two. And then the other hand is right by my chest. From here, I'm gonna take my opposite leg across, putting my forehead on the floor, coming into a twisted position. Perfect. You should feel a nice stretch through your shoulder and your chest, also your hip flexors, and maybe even your back. And how is your neck supposed your to be? Cheek is resting on the floor. Good question. Breathe, inhale and exhale. Good, roll your body through center. And you're just gonna return to that middle position to go to the second side. So other arm reaches out. Yeah, wherever you feel comfortable. Hand uses to push your body over. Oh my goodness, isn't this magical? Yeah, this one's this side especially. And everyone's body is different. So where you hold tightness is different than where I do or where Liz does. But moving your body gives you a time to pay attention to how you feel and what you need and how you can make movement work for you so that you feel better. Breathe in. Breathe out. Beautiful. You're gonna roll to your front. And then from here, we're doing a quad stretch. So I'll show you a couple ways to do this. Your hands will be a pillow. You're gonna bring one heel towards your bottom and take the hand back to reach for your foot. Now, if the foot is not accessible today and you're like, man, Caroline, I'm too tight for this, I don't know. What you're going to do is try it on your side or just place the leg behind you like this. Totally work with what you got. So I love this version of the quad stretch because you can push your hips into the mat and squeeze your glutes and use the floor as feedback to get a great stretch. Sometimes when people do quad stretches standing, they kind of oh. do a little bit of a back bend and they miss the money. You don't wanna do that. Mm. You wanna get a good stretch. So push the hips into the floor, squeeze your glute to feel a release through the front of the thigh. Breathe in, breathe out. Magical. Let's switch sides. So foot releases, switch hands, switch legs, pull that leg in, use the floor, and press the hips down. When we reflect on the workout we shared together today, we had low impact cardio, standing total body, mat based total body, and now we're moving into our cool down and stretch, and we'll finish with a brief meditation. It's such a well rounded meal of everything, all wrapped into one package. So that no matter where you are, you can get cardio, strength, mobility, and a little bit of mindfulness. Good, slowly relax. And let's flip onto our back. We're going to stretch our glutes. So for our glute stretch today, we're moving into a figure four stretch. So you'll cross one ankle across the opposite knee, making a four position with your legs. You can keep this here on the mat if you already feel a stretch, or if you want to, you can guide the legs towards your chest, keeping your head on the floor. I like to grab behind my opposite hamstring because this always feels really good. And you should feel a nice stretch in the outer thigh and hip. Breathe in and out. So the tighter you pull, the more stretch you feel. True but you don't need to push it. Okay. Remember, you don't have to push anything to make it effective. Okay. Just find a, a good deep stretch for yourself and breathe into that position. Should you focus on shoulders in the back of the mat or no? That's a good question. Um, sure. I think focusing on relaxing is the most important thing. <laughs> <laughs> Letting go of tension. <laughs> 
Now I want you to cross your legs like you're sitting like a lady, which means you have a dress on, you don't want anyone to see your panties. There you go, good. Now take your legs one way, your upper body the other way. So Liz is gonna go, yep, that way, and reach her chest out. Hip stretch, back stretch, shoulder stretch. Are you breathing? Great. You know, I forget to stretch sometimes and it's so important. Feels amazing, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Come back through center. Let's try those two stretches on the second side. So opposite ankle across the knee, flex the foot, draw the position into the chest or leave it on the mat, whatever works. This feels great after those squats and lunges and clamshells. Deep breaths into your hips. I can hear you breathing. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's return to our spine stretch. So we're gonna cross our legs lady style and then curl across and reach the upper body in the opposite direction. Oh my goodness, this is my absolute favorite. I do this stretch probably every single day. Breathe, inhale. And exhale. Slowly return to center. Uncross your legs and bring both knees into your chest. Wrap your arms around yourself. I want you to give yourself a hug. Take a moment to thank yourself for showing up, to thank your body, and just be grateful for all of the gifts that health gives you. Whenever you're ready, roll to one side, slowly sit up, and meet us in a comfortable seated position. Sitting up nice and tall with your hands on your thighs, let your eyes close. Take a few deep, settling breaths. Inhaling through the belly. And exhale. In this moment, notice how you feel. Maybe let the corners of your mouth turn up towards the sky smiling, knowing that you did a great job today. And the more you show up for yourself, the better you feel, and the better that positive energy translates out into everything you do. The better mom you can be. Amen. <laughs> Deep breath in, and out. Whenever you're ready, open your eyes, and you have just success, successfully completed a total body cardio and Pilates workout. I'm your coach, Caroline Jordan, and joining me today is special coach Liz here at Spin Love Play in Kona, Hawaii. We're so grateful that you took the time to move your body with us today, and we wanna hear how you feel. So leave us a comment below and let us know if you thumbs up, liked the video, and if you wanna see more. And for more, of course, you can always join me online at carolinejordanfitness.com. Thank you so much for joining us today. Stay active, and we'll see you again soon. Get around despite the law.